Oh my goodness, good morning everybody. We just entered Puppy Kingdom here and they are ready for their breakfast and they did a really good job. Well, mostly, ew, someone's walking through it right now, but most of the poops are at least over there next to the litter. And then there's a smart boy using it right now, that's Khalid. And so now we're gonna get uh, their breakfast. So I have it just outside the gate and it's funny because they were being so, so noisy, much noisier than they are right now even. And then I put the food down and they could smell it and just knowing that it's there kind of calmed them down. And so today, Mr. HDL is joining us remotely. So I'm gonna set that up there so you can see them. So hello everybody, welcome to some very excited puppies. And I have to admit, it is not as good virtually as it has been in the pen. <laughs> and I used four bowls this morning, so there shouldn't be too much jockeying for positions here. Here you go, Kanye. And who lucked out? Let's see, it is uh, Usher with his own bowl. Oh, and Kanye decided he liked that bowl better. Why do they do that? It's they just play bowl bingo. <laughs> they do. They do. Well, I have on my required flip-flops this morning. I'm going to wait around and try to get most of this poo up before they finish eating. There was someone who left us a really nice, helpful, long comment last night, and she must be an experienced puppy person herself, but she was talking about putting down a divider in the middle of the puppy pen at night so that they could be in a smaller area next to the litter. And then we'd have a clean area on the other side to move the puppies to to feed them. So it might be something that we look at to try in the future. But basically creates less space between their bed and their litter to make a mess in the night. But I do think, Mr. HDL, your trick of leaving the window blinds open overnight so that they have at least some uh, moonlight or street light coming in to help them know where their litter trays are in the dark. I think that's helped. Uh, well, if you listen to your husband, tribe wife, then um, <laughs> you'll do very well. Uh, oh, boy. This is the ongoing joke now. We saw some article about trad wipes. If you don't know what it is, look it up. I'm very brave over an internet connection there. <laughs> yes, while your wife is cleaning up poo. Our daughters, before they went off to school this morning, opened the door to say hello and just kicked off the cacophony of puppy squeals. started the other day when I had it in there. One of them was trying to climb up and get at it. Oh, really? 
when we brought in their bag of new toys in a little shopping bag. They thought the bag was the best toy of all. Yeah, right. Hey, Posty. Hey, Posty. Are you prancing around? Mm -hmm. I do love the mop. statement today, rolling up my sweatpants so that they don't chew on the end of them quite as much. Puppies are addicted to flip-flops. Yeah, they love flip-flops. Almost as much as Texans. My Englishman hardly owned a pair of flip-flops until I had them come into Texas on a regular basis. Still draw the line and go to church today. What? We love going to church in our flip flops. <laughs> Are you feeling your oats, Kanye? Are you feeling your oats? I don't really even know what that expression comes from, do you? Feeling your oats? No, I don't think I do. Someone will have to tell us in a comment. I think it's from the eating pigs or something. Oh, I'm lost without you, Mr. HDL. I can't find the little litter scooper. that anyone took it out to use it as a breakfast utensil. There was on the wall behind the, uh, ah, the fence you're where exactly the box right. Up. See? Even remotely, you help me. Aha. He's a good one, folks. asking why we don't use newspaper in the litter trays. And that is really just because they would get newspaper prints all over us with their little paws. Even messier. Oh, we have a stampede on the litter tray now. They're all going to go over here. This is amazing. Seeing is believing here. Okay, that water noise is 4,000 miles away. <laughs> Mr. HDL, don't flush the toilet in front of everyone watching. <laughs> so, oh, of course you are. You're English. So look at these smart boys using the litter, although... We have someone digging in the corner. Who's that prince? Oh, he did do his business. And then he started digging in the corner. And then these two, ow, are attacking my leg. All right, I'm gonna put the camera back stationary here. So you can see the boys playing while I finish cleaning up the dirty side of puppies. It's always a dark side. All right, baby voice. We'll get that dirty blanket out of here. And once we 
have this squared away. We will start the live stream. The bats are really coming on now, aren't they? They are. They really are. So thank you all to uh, everyone who joined our premiere last night uh, for the much awaited uh, filming of their very first bath all in the big boy bathtub together. And then we will be starting a live stream shortly. So we look forward to seeing you on there and uh, chatting with you online. Have a great day.